So question one says, if you put some money in a savings account and you get an interest rate of 2% a year, explain how you would find the interest rate after so many years. Well, all you have to tell the person is that you would take the money or the principal, multiply it by the interest rate, in this case 0 0.02, and then times the number of years uh, that they're leaving the money in that account. That's pretty much it. It's pretty restating the equation, right? Interest equals PRT. So that's pretty much what they're explaining, right? To find how much money is earned, you multiply the principal times the rate times the amount of time left in that account. Two. So I would start every question. I would start every question. I start every question with this. All right, so the simple interest is how much interest you would earn if you leave $3,200 at a bank for 0 0.076 and for a period of two years. So the amount of money that you would earn times 0 0.076 times 2 would be $486.04. Same thing here, except that it's three months, so you put $500 down pay 0 0.042 per year, but you're not leaving it per, uh, the whole year, so you have to, <coughs> the time has to div be divided, so it's uh, three months, so we write, we're going to write that as 3 over 12, or 1 fourth, it's up to you. So the amount of money that you would earn would be 500 times <coughs> 0 0.042 times 1 over 4, or 0 0.25, and the amount of money that you would get is $5.25. Not much, but hey, like I told you in class, nobody's going to give you that free money. So, four, the amount of time, so T is our unknown here. Okay, uh, if you want to earn $127.50 after putting $340, you, the interest rate that you're given is 0 0.0625. How long do you have to leave the money in there to earn $127? That's the question. 0, 340 times 0 0.0625 equals, so this is 21.25 T. And we divide both sides by 21.25. So it's 127.5 divided by 21.25. And this gives you leave your money for six years in the bank. Alright. <clears throat> Is that it? Jeez. Okay. Back page. Bank is offering two and a half percent interest rate. So if you again PRT, if you put in five thousand times zero point zero two five and leave for one year, how much money would you earn? 5,000 times 0 0.025 times 1, you would earn $125. So your account would have 5,125. To buy a car, so again, this one is how much interest you would pay, right? Not earn, because you're borrowing money. So you borrowed $15,000, annual rate of 0 0.092, which is pretty high, and for three years. So 15,000 times 0 0.092 times 3 equals 4,440. 4, 4, so what's the total amount that you have to pay? So at the end, at the end, you would pay $15,000 that you borrowed, plus you would pay 4,104 in interest. So the total that you would end up paying for your car is 19,140. Okay. Nancy invested, okay, so I equals PRT again. She put $6,000 down. Um, the interest rate was 0 .0, 0 0.3. How long? So time is my unknown. And she earned 415 so that's my interest here. So let's multiply, so we get 450. 6,000 times 0 0.03 equals 180. Divide both sides by 180. T 
equals 450 divided by 180 equals two and a half years. So you leave the money in your bank for two and a half years. Four, Mr. Johnson bought 8,000 for four years. He repaid 10,320. What's the interest rate that he was charged? What was the percent? So I equals PRT. So you gotta be very, very careful with this. So principal is 8,000. R is what we don't know. <clears throat> the T is four years. Now, how much in extra did he have to pay? So in this case, when he paid everything back, he paid a total of 10,320. So if you subtract this, you get 2,320. So on top of the $8,000 that he borrowed, he had to pay a little interest of 2,320. So what rate did they charge him? Well, 2,320, that's 32,000. R, divide by 32,000, divide by 32,000. And R equals 2320 divided by 32123 equals 0.0725, or if you change that to a percent, it becomes 725%. That's how much they charged him. Remember, like I told you, this is just an exercise in using your calculator. Um, you have four variables, three of them you'll be you always know, and you'll solve for the missing one or the unknown. Buy a laptop, Elaine borrowed two thousand, so again I equals PRT. So the amount of money she borrowed, the principal was two thousand. For the interest rate of zero point zero five one, the time was three years. So how much interest? So on top of the two thousand dollars, how much did she have to pay? So two thousand times zero point zero five one times three. So three hundred and six dollars. So at the end, she paid two thousand dollars for her laptop plus three hundred and six dollars. So she paid two thousand three hundred and six dollars at the end. Okay. TJ invested four thousand in the bond. So it's nice if you start with this. 4,000 is your principal. The rate was 2.5 for 10, uh, or 0 0.0245. The T is how much money, how long was the money invested for? So that's uh, unknown, so we leave that as T. And how much money did he earn? He earned $200 in interest, so that goes over here. 200 equals, and let's multiply, 4,000 times 0 0.0245. That gives you 98. T and divide both sides by 98 and T equals 200 divided by 98. You're gonna get a long decimal, so let's just round to nearest hundreds 0 0.04 years. Okay, eight I equals PRT. The principal is 9,000. What interest rate? So R is my variable, my unknown. T is 10 years. And how much did he make? Well, after 10 years, his bank account had, uh, actually he pay, repaid a total of 18,247. Uh, so 18,247 minus 9,000. That gives us 9,247. So that's how much in interest, in extra, that he had to pay. So 9,247. 9,000 times 10 is 90,000. R, 9,247. Divide both sides by 90,000. We get 9,247 divided by 90,000. 1, 2, 3. Equals, oops. 9,247 divided by 90,000. So our interest rate here, if you look at the decimal, is 0 0.1024444. If I move this over, or multiply by 100, in percent is 10.27%, rounded, okay? Rounded. Bertha deposited $100 in her account. When she was 18, how much money will she have 50 years later at a simple rate of 7.5%? So, so uh, $1,000, the interest rate is 0 0.075, and 
and the time is 50 years. So let's see how much money she'll have. 1,000 times 0 0.075 times 50, 3,700. So when she comes back in 50 years, she's going to have the $1,000 that she put initially plus 3,750 that she earned. So her account will have $4,750. Okay. 10. Ooh, last question. Really? Why is it so short? Okay. Joshua borrowed. So again, I P R T. He borrowed 1000. So that's our principal. Um, he paid him back after six months. So the interest rate is what they're asking. What's the annual interest rate? So that's our stands as it is. The time is six months. Six months is six over 12. And in interest, so think about this. If you borrow 1000 and you paid back 1050 how much extra did your friend make? Well, your friend earned 50 bucks, right? You bought 1000 from your friend. And in six months, when you pay it back, you paid 1050 So that means the interest that you were charged was 50 bucks. Well, 50 equals, let's divide this. It's 500 R. 1,000 so 6 over 12 is 500 R. Divide both sides by 500. And the R equals 50 divided by 500 equals 0 0.1 or as in percent, 10%. Okay. All right, that was really, really simple.